I'm Olivia with Try Broadcasting. My name is Ron Wilson. I'm the superintendent of schools for Hayes Schools. And we're just going to ask him a few questions about the new school and the bond. Um, so first off, how is the progress of the new high school going? Well, you know, it's really going really well. Now, I, unfortunately, I, from from people who are maybe not highly involved with the project, mm -hmm. they may feel like nothing is really yeah. occurring. But uh, right now, where we're at is we're in, in the design phase. And so we're consistently, and when I say consistently, almost every day we're meeting with the architect team, um, getting information to them, getting feedback in terms of what we like, what we maybe would like to see differently getting back to staff in terms of what the how that works for them mm -hmm. so lots of stuff going on it is uh difficult though when you're on the other end and you don't yeah. you're not involved yeah. and you're not seeing this but uh, we're we're working hard um and and really making some tremendous progress in spite of not really yeah. seeing a yeah, lot of awesome. action yeah. yeah thank you um so what's the current timeline for that new school well, current timeline is, um, like I said, we're in design phase right now. Um, our goal would be to see that we're probably breaking ground in June. And when I say breaking ground, that would look like a bunch of big machinery rolling across yeah. uh, the, the landscape, which is where our school, new school is going to be. Uh, you'll see some fencing uh, starting, you know, late spring here that'll okay. kind of uh, set boundaries where they're where everything is going to happen and will kind of be off limits for the next couple of years um, but the timeline would be then construction will start this summer it's really a two-year uh, construction phase which sounds like a tremendously long time yeah. but but we're building a, a pretty big uh, piece of yeah. structure here yeah. so um, and and of course the end the end goal is um, August of 25, 26 school year is when we'll move yeah. in. Now, that's great if you're a freshman. If you're a sophomore yeah. through senior, it's it's difficult sometimes to think that you, you missed out yeah. on that. But uh, we wished we would have done it 15 years earlier. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, we're going to get this done, and and uh, the wait is worth it because we're, we're putting together a, a really nice facility that is going to be something that everyone in the community, students, staff, and community are going to be very proud of. Yeah, I'm super excited about it. And that's just right next to the current high school, right? Current high school, yeah. So the, right now it's a, kind of a, a field. Um, just recently had some bales on it that... <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, but we do have, if you've noticed, on off of 13th, there's a sign that uh, mm -hmm. kind of points the direction yeah. of where it's going to be laid out. So, um, yes, very excited about, yeah. about where it's going to be and how close in proximity to what is now the current high school, which will be our, our future right. middle school. Yeah. And it's going to open up many doors for, for both schools to, to uh, work together and uh, just do some great things. Yeah. I've heard tons of people are super excited about it. Um, so what are the biggest challenges that you guys are facing regarding the new bond or the construction of the school? Well, I think it's, it's the same challenges that uh, everyone probably faces with construction. It's always just trying to balance getting everything that we want with maybe what it costs and how to, how to mm -hmm. keep everything uh, within our, what we have, the amount that we have. Yeah. So that's, that's definitely a challenge. It's not something that we're going to not meet those, um, those, those, you know, thresholds. We will. Um, but it just sometimes takes a lot of creative thinking to, uh, maximize your space and also sometimes think differently how we utilize space. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think we have done a really good job uh, of proposing a school that is going to be very flexible, uh, very efficient, uh, will maximize the capacity that we're building way better than the, the building we're currently in. And so I think that's, that's a bonus uh, for the long term for, for, the, for the building and, and for students and staff. I know we've got to test out some of the new um, furniture and things in awesome. some of the classrooms, awesome. and that's really cool. Yeah, yeah that's, that's just one of several things that uh, will probably look and feel differently with the new school. You know, of course, as we, as we move across into the new building, we, we're, it'll, it'll look and feel definitely different, but we, 
part of that is going to be some of the furniture that we we utilize. Um, there'll still be some of the traditional furniture that yeah. you're seeing in this building, but uh, but there'll be a lot of different kinds of things that we want. We want a, a school to feel uh, comfortable, I guess is the yeah. word, the term I want. And sometimes it, that may be just the use of furniture and and how 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 we can create an environment and an atmosphere that that. Uh, is enjoyable to be in. Yeah, yeah. A lot of students have loved that new furniture. And I know, I think Fort Hayes has some of that furniture too. I did a summer camp um, and it was really fun to yeah. see both of those places have that furniture and then the new school be able to have that. It, it is exciting. I mean, uh, I've even had the opportunity to sit on some of that yeah. furniture and wobble around and <laughs> lounge back in something that looks fairly contemporary. So yeah. it's exciting to think that that could be in our new school and we'll yeah. definitely have some of that. Yeah. Okay. Um, and why do you believe that the community of Hayes supported the bond? Well, I, there's several reasons why I, I feel like they supported it. And one is is kind of how we sold it. Uh, this this bond is for our school district, but more importantly, it's for our community. Mm -hmm. It's a community of Hayes. You know, here we're sitting in western Kansas. And, you know, it's not something we we probably enjoy discussing, but western Kansas is, is losing population. Mm -hmm. And so we, as in a community of Hayes, we have to continually work to compete to keep our yeah. city growing. Yeah. And so part of that, uh, in terms of what makes a community vibrant and thriving and growing is, is a, a, a solid school system, which I think we have. Yeah. But we also had some facilities that needed some mm -hmm. updating. Uh, we had the, the newest facility uh, in our district was over 40 years old, which is the current high school. Yeah. And uh, it had been a long time since we've had anything new. And so this, this promotes growth in our community. Of course, people look at schools when people consider moving or even staying in schools. What's the, what's the school system is like is usually a pretty strong factor in, in young families or maybe in young people who are in knowing that they may be starting families while living here. And so that's, that was important. And so we sold it as this is growing our community. This is competing to stay vibrant, to stay thriving as a community. Hayes is a great community, has so much, so much to offer, but we can't kind of rest on our laurels. Right. If we do that, and just stay with the status quo and this is how we do things, we are not going to continue to compete. And I think the community spoke up and said, yeah, this is important and this is, this is why it's, it's, it's good. I also think one of the reasons that the project was successful was because of the scope of the project. I think what we proposed in our plan, building a new high school, moving the, the current middle school over to the high school, opening that middle school to a bigger elementary did what we all were, were have been struggling with for a long time in that space. As you know, the current high school is compressed or we're packed to the gills at the current high school. The middle school is probably even more packed than the high school. And then we have some elementaries who have run out of space. So what this plan allowed everyone to do was create more space. And I think that's really what sold the bond also is we had a great plan. And so really throughout the process, people never questioned the plan. Uh, they, they liked the plan. Uh, there were other things that, that maybe they, they had to consider in, in, in their support, but uh, we got enough support and I think it's, it was, it's a great direction. Awesome, yeah. I know um, a lot of support was because of so many students or almost all ages of students get to be benefited from this bond and the building of the new school. That's really an excellent point because yes, every building is being touched throughout this entire bond mm -hmm. scope, which I think was important for, for support because everyone, unfortunately, other than our sophomores through seniors, <laughs> will get to experience um, the, the, the positive of, of these upgraded new facilities. Yeah, yeah. And so what can students most look forward to with the new school? Well, I, man, I could go on and on, but I, I think the thing is what, what I would say is what they can look forward to is a, a school that is going to be very open and, and inviting and really create a great atmosphere for learning. 
Um, I say this, and I sometimes I don't know if people quite grasp this. It's going to look and feel so much different than the current high school mm -hmm. that that we're in right now, uh, because there's going to be a lots of things that we are we're moving and, and forward thinking on in terms of just how kids learn today versus maybe how they learned when this building was constructed, right. and we've we've also understood that this built how kids learn in two years is not going to be this maybe the same way that they learn in another 20 years or yeah. even 50 years and so this building has flexibility the uh, the ability to adapt and adjust uh, how learning is going to evolve differently over the course of of just time and it's as invariably it, it happens and it's a good thing and you can't always just stay in the same decade that you built right. the building in in terms of teaching and learning and so that's why i feel like is, is something students can really look forward to is a, a very a, a facility that they're going to be very proud of and very proud to say they attend school and that's at those buildings and i'm talking at all levels elementary middle school and high school um, they're going to they're going to have a real pride factor but at the same time buildings that really have ability to grow and adjust with the times yeah. well thank you so much um that is all of the questions we have today but it was great meeting with you and we heard plenty of amazing things from you. I so appreciate thank you. the opportunity. Yeah. Thank you. I'm Olivia with Tri Broadcasting.